Good evening, everybody. Dr. Gloria Pope here with Black Girl Everything. And I am here with Aisha, right? Yes. Hey, Aisha, how are you? Hey, girl. Hey, how are you? All right. So just a little side note. I've been stalking you for a while because I love your work. And this is why I was getting this interview done because like it's on my schedules, on my life plan, because I got to start doing projects with you because your work is just amazing. So Thank I see you. you got your whole logo on your chest. So tell yes, girl, I had to. Um, I started this business like, you know, six months ago. I was going through a dark time. It was like, I couldn't see my family. You know, I just lost my job. You know, it, a lot of things was going on. Couldn't get our hair done. We couldn't do this. We couldn't do that. So I started watching like a lot of black girl magic. I started, I'm like, you know, we look like this, we look like that. But, you know, to go to a store and see all the women in their natural hair just amazed me. And I just feel like sometimes as us being black girls, they put us in the wrong perspective. I don't have an attitude. I'm not nasty. I'm not mean. All of us is not like that. Yeah. And I feel like, all my cups just come with a vibe. They come with a vibe like, you see me, I'm here. I'm a person. We need to get along. That's how I feel about each, each of these cups. Every time I make one, it brings a tear to my eye because it's like, oh, I had that hairstyle. Or this is how I look today. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm praying today. Or I'm looking cute today, but I'm going to bring it with a bling. Yeah. I love bling. I, how can I say this? I was maybe like, 10 years old, I went to the circus. And the first thing I saw the women with the bling, I was like, oh my God, that's so beautiful. Oh my God, this is what I, this is what I want to do. Mm -hmm. And I was 10 years old and I knew what I was going to do at 10. But I just feel like every black woman need one of these cups. I just feel like I'm a person, I come with a vibe. If you meet me, you know that. You see me at the party, I vibe by myself. You know, I just feel like after all of this that we went through, we need to be calm. We need to be humble. Because I look at it like this. I could have been in that box. Yeah. I really could have. And I just feel like Black girl magic, Black girl bling. I just feel like us as Black women, we are so beautiful. We come with so much joy, so many looks. We got dark-skinned women. We got Black women. We got light-skinned women. We should stick together. And I just feel like that's what I do with my cups. I just think I make them and I just sit there and look at them. They're together. We need to be together. It sounds crazy. It sounds so crazy. When I tell people, they'll be like, wait a minute. You made it with a vibe. And the top off of that, um, my husband had brought me a cricket. And I was like, well, what, I, what am I supposed to do with this? He was like, figure it out. And I met him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I met him during a pandemic when times was hard. But uh -huh. he gave me something to create something that's so beautiful. And I see... Every time I make one, I get better and better and better and better. From when yeah. I first started making them, I have got a whole lot better. Like each one of these cups, I call them each one of these ladies, sassy, classy, ratchet, whatever. It, she come with a bling. And you need to, as a person, you need to accept who you are straight up. That's it. it, it I hope it don't sound crazy to you. No, it doesn't sound crazy to me. So, you know, and I think that's what it is, because even when you display your works, I saw you at that last pop up I was in in Brooklyn yeah. and your displays were just great. And it was just an arrangement of just so many different, honestly, just women up there. And they did exactly. all look so different. And everybody's so unique and it just represents who we are just definitely as black women. And it's the same thing, you know, with the model of black girl, everything is just like, because we yes. are everything. You know, and that's yes. what it means. That's what it means. So I'm just, just so happy about it. So your business is called Fabulous Always Mugs. For anybody's really yes, it. yes. And you know right? where I got that from? Like when I'm at work, people are like, "Hey, Miss Fab, girl, you so fabulous, girl, you got a fabulous attitude." I was like, "Let me run with this." Yeah. You know, and it's like, it's not about like I said before. Anywhere I go, I give off a vibe. Anywhere, any, I just feel like I am grateful to still be here. And this is why I have that vibe. And people be like, girl, you're always happy. I'm happy because I'm alive for March. I feel like get together, be together. When I was young, all my cousins, we came over on Friday. Even if we didn't like each other, we vibe together. And yeah. we're with all girls. And I feel like we need to do that again. We need to sit down and have brunch. We need to sit down and talk about it. Not talk about each other. Talk about it. Simple mm -hmm. as that. Not talk about each other. Talk about it. 
You know what I'm saying? We could give each other advice. We could even go into business together. I hate seeing us. I watch a lot of stuff and people don't understand that, but I hate seeing us just looking at one another, rolling their eyes. No, hey girl, how you doing? You know, ask how your day is. You know, we just got to do better and be better. That's my biggest issue. At work, I vibe with everybody. Security, custodial, I vibe with everybody. Yeah. And I feel like we should be like that. That's how I grew up. Oh, no, I think that's definitely great. I think that's definitely amazing. Your whole message behind your energy of what you're doing, what you're doing. Because yes. I think you give somebody something to smile about. Because I can just see, because I got to buy a cup too, by the way. So <laughs> I can just see what people are going for, like their morning coffee, their morning tea, and then looking yes. at drinking from that, just bringing that positive energy with it. So when people, per- so when you create your products, I heard you mention some names. Do you individually name them or you just kind of just go with it? No, I named them. I've, I've, <laughs> I feel like they just... I don't know. It's it's just a vibe. It's just a yeah. it's just a vibe. And I have this girl. I don't want to say her name. I have this girl at my job. She brought a cup for me. So one day I came in work. She's sitting there. I'm like, you okay? She's like, mm, I'm all right. Mm-hmm. She started crying. I said, you know, everything is gonna be all right. She said, Aisha, you know what? I had your mug today, and your mug made me happy. He said, as soon as I saw you, you know, whatever I was going through, as soon as I saw you, I started crying because I was like, wow, I'm going through a lot right now, but this cup made me happy. And I knew from right there, don't sell yourself short. You need to do something bigger with this. You need to do something bigger with a mug. A mug made her happy at that moment. Whatever she was going through, when that door opened and she saw me, she was like, damn, this mug makes me happy. And I'm like, wow. I'm like, that's, you know, really interesting. No, well, it really cup. should be. It should be because, yeah. you know, and I'd be around. I do, I've done a lot of pop-ups. I've been around a lot of people and your work that you're doing with these mugs is so unique. You mm-hmm. know, and I've seen people do them. Yeah, yeah. More power Because to I had there. a situation like that one time. I was yeah. in, I was in a pop-up shop with a woman that had like, not the same one, but similar. Yeah. So what was so crazy, she was so focused on me and I'm like, we good. We good. I have a whole nother vibe. The, yeah. My vibe goes with the cups. So it's at first I was a little worried because I'm new to the game, you know, uh-huh. so I was a little worried at first, but I was like, you know what? My daughter was like, mom, what you worry about? You have a whole vibe. Like you vibe with these cups. She's like, you don't, she said growing up, she didn't understand, but she understand the vibe that I had. She's yeah. like, well, you have a whole different setup. I was like, all right, you're right. But that's how it is. It has a different, like, some of the people ask me, well, do you duplicate? I try to, but it don't work because if I duplicate the second one, it still has its own vibe. I like literally, I literally. And I'm like, I want, every, I want people at work to have these. I want people in the hairdressers to have. I want every girl, woman to have one. Like mm-hmm. literally. It, it, yeah. It's crazy. I just don't, I just feel like this could be a career. This could be my life. No, I definitely see it. I just see it. So how long does it take you to get one cup done? Like an hour. And Whoa, let me explain, you're good. But let me explain something to you. I have to be in a move. I have to have a vibe. You're focused. You're going to whole zone. I have to be a zone. Like sage here, music there, these lights, that's it. My husband nice. somewhere else, wherever he's at, or my kids over there, I have to have a vibe. And I literally, and it's going, <laughs> you're going to laugh at this. When I first started these cups, I was living in Flatbush. Eh, okay. They was okay. Soon as I came to New Jersey where it's quiet, it's no noise. I look out the window, the sky is right there. No noise. The vibe just came about. Like literally. I understand. I understand. Like people be like, oh my God, I really love this cup. I love this cup. I have not once taste, drink nothing out of none of them. I mm-hmm. just watched them. I just watched them. I just watched the mood. Every one of them have a mood. It's just like, you never know what women as black women go through. We go through a lot. We go through hair issues. We go through men issues. We go through children issues. We as a whole go through a lot of issues. A lot. A lot. Because sometimes I, my job, like I said before, is very intense. I'm in charge of a lot of people. And I do my best. But it, is that something I want to do or is this what I want to do? You know, that's, mm-hmm. that's the question I asked myself today. Because I haven't slept like in two days because I'm like, you know what? 
what do you want to do? Is this what you want to do? Is this makes you happy? Yeah. This is what makes you happy. Simple as that. Ever since I was a little girl, I love blank. And some people might say, oh, well, you know, you're a grown woman with grown children and you love blank. I love bling. Flowers, <laughs> cookies. I don't care what it is. I wish I could paint my whole house glitter. That's what I like. <laughs> I just feel like it makes us feel better. You know, okay. I just, that's how I feel. I just feel like at that moment, we should all feel fabulous. I, yo, my, if people, I wish you could talk to people at my job because I tell them, listen, girl, you better walk like you Beyonce and get it together. You know, I, yeah. I have prayed with people at work. I, I just have a genuine feeling about myself. I just, I'm a, just a genuine person. No matter what we go through as people, I always feel, leave it for tomorrow, go about your day. Because mm -hmm. there's someone out there worse than you. There's someone out there that's going through 10 times better than you, worse than you. So yeah. have a good day. And people don't understand, like, how can you have that attitude? They don't get it. Yeah. I don't vibe with everybody. It's like, listen, either we on a positive note or we not. I'm not here for all of that. I'm mm -hmm. here to either get the job done and live my day because we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. No, we don't. No, we don't. So we have to exactly. take advantage of the moment. So, exactly. so I know you do a lot of pop-ups and stuff like that. So can people, yeah. how can people also who are not present at pop-up order your products? They can hit me on Instagram. They can, um, Majority of the time, Instagram, and I post them all the time. So people yeah. will DM me. I'll meet them like maybe, because I, like I said, I live in New Jersey, but I work in New York. So what I do is I'll meet them in New York or I'll mail them to them. I'll ship it to them. Okay. And it's been pretty good. It's been pretty good. I mean, like I said, I'll be real busy, but I try my best to get them done. And when I make one, she looks like somebody. <laughs> she looked like that Mika. She looked like that, you know, she looks yeah. like somebody. You know, I feel like we should be proud of who we are. Straight mm -hmm. up. I'm not trying to, you know, disrespect anyone, but I'm just saying, be proud who you are. You got nappy hair, you got a weave, you got a wig. Just be proud who you are. Mm -hmm. That's it. Just and that's how it. I feel. Exactly. And that's how I feel these cups are. Whoever, whoever I make, that's who she is. It's no taking away from her. Even if it's three cams, two Mikas, she's her own person. Simple as that. That's it. So do you have any mugs nearby so somebody can see one? Oh, yes. Oh, girl. girl, show me what you got. I'm so excited. Ho, ho up. I hope you ready. Bam. Ooh, look at her. Tell me. She don't have a vibe. Yeah, she's she like, me. I got All this. Right. But wait a minute. You got to be ready for the next one. Mm, what we got? Wait a minute, girl. Ooh. You see how she sparkle? Yes, she's glimmering off in the screen. You see how she sparkles. What? She's beautiful. Beautiful. Wait, girl, but I ain't, I ain't finished yet. Hold on, wait a minute. Look at her cousin that live across the street. What? Ooh. Oh, she's a rough one. Don't mess with her. Yes, honey, do you see them lips? Yes. Okay. But wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, these are for my sisters that, you know, they just want to drink some of their tea they just want to drink their tea Ooh, and style yes, i'm cool and collected i'm burning yeah, my, she's drinking her and tea. my incense yeah yes. she, she's drinking her tea because she you know she just want to chill today you know that's her vibe she just want to chill drink her tea you know watch love and hip-hop or something mind of her business her sage like you said <laughs> maybe she got her little waist beads on mm -hmm. but that's what she do but then wait a minute wait a minute my other? i got a lot of cups girl but then wait a minute, you got to bring out her cousin. Like, her cousin? Bathroom set? Her cousin. She's like, yes. Her cousin, she's like, oh, I'm here. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm here, I'm here. I'm here. But, you know, like, it's... Oh, I, I see it, but like... you showed me with five different things, and they all spoke a different language. Exactly. And a that's different. why I feel like... I feel like a lot of women need these cups and not even yeah. like, like I said before, for a cup to bring a vibe like that when she was going through something and she understood, she yeah. understood what I was trying to, trying to say. Cause a lot of people that I talk to, they'd be like, what? But if anybody you, you like, 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 like me and you talking now, yeah. when you go to, when you go to bed, you're going to be like, you know what? I want to talk to her some more because she's really like, I'm with that. Because you, you're going to think about it. If you don't think about it today, you're going to think about it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. How a whole cup just changed your whole mood. Well, I'm like you, literally. It, it, your cups drew me to you. Even so, even literally. with all the challenges of doing this and everything today, I was like, no, nah, we're going we're gonna to talk today. <laughs> no, we're going to talk today. It's going to happen yes. today. 
Like, give me 30 yes. minutes. We're doing this today. Yes. This is something about you that just naturally draws you in. And it's, that just means that your energy is pure and it's coming yeah. through through your work. You know, I can see people looking at your different cups and trying to find their best self. And they're saying, let me get my best self when yeah. I'm not even put my best self forward. I have it, something tangible to exactly. remind me of Exactly. Yeah, like, I think and it's dope. I think the concept's dope. I think your work is dope. I'm super excited for you. Thank you. I'm just, I'm just trying to be great. I'm just trying to be great and I'm trying to bring a message. And this is what I try to instill in my daughters. Listen, we don't have time to waste. No, we don't. Be your best person. Yep. Literally, like yep. when I'm at work, I'm my best person. Oh yeah, I was off for two weeks. When I came back Monday, girl, they was like, oh my God, it was different here. Your vibe wasn't here. Oh my God. I'm like, listen, y'all could have called me out of FaceTime y'all. It survived. It, it, I don't know where I get it from. I, I really don't know. It's mm -hmm. just sometimes I'll be like, you know, you know, it's a vibe. It's just yeah. totally, this is how I am. It's no fakeness about me. This is how, <laughs> literally how I am. And my mother, like my mother touched me like, wow, she cool. You know, it's, I want, I want the world to be great. I want us to stop fighting. I want us to stop arguing. When we were young, how, how mm -hmm. I ask you how old are you? You, you in your forties, right? Yes. I'm in my 40s. Back in the days, we didn't do all this drama. We went to our cousin's house. No. We chilled. If you was my friend, you was my friend. That's it. It's no social media. I miss the double dutch. I miss the hot scots. I miss the, the roller skating. Stuff without cell phones. Stuff that we could vibe with each other. Yeah. That's how no, it was. I totally get you. That's why I hosted during the summer. I did a series of teen nights. Mm -hmm. at it was the same concept. It was like they couldn't really have cell phones out. We did a movie night and a game night, and they came. They, had yeah. to, they just played and just hung out. And exactly. They just didn't know, understand what that really meant, just to hang out. I'm yeah, like, that's playing, what we I'm did. Just, you're like just chilling, yo. Just yeah. Chilling, you know, we didn't have phones back in the day. We no, just no, chilled. we hung out. You sat on the stoop. Yes. One of my best days of my life was going to the South Bronx to my cousin's house, and we sat on the mm -hmm. stoop and played in a fire hydrant. It was like exactly. the dopest thing in the summer exactly if we would have brought our kids back to that i think this world would be so much better i agree i really do i really do like the whole I block told, outside playing yep i told my daughters y'all don't understand what y'all missed back in the day y'all really don't yeah. and you may call me old school but like i told somebody today back in the day works and a lady looked at me i said i'm gonna tell you back in the day work yeah when it really did i said i had no cell phone i had to go downstairs go on the pay phone and call you and only have five minutes. Mm -hmm. But that five minutes meant a lot. And like I, like I try to tell people, these cups meant a lot to me. It, 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 it's just, I feel like all of us should act that way. I think back in the day, where it's double dutch, barbecues, block mm -hmm. parties, girls dancing. Remember that? Yeah. Pool, pool parties. We had, freaking, like you said, the fire hydrant, ice cream man, a dollar. Bring back the chicken wings, four chicken wings, french fries, two dollars. Let's do this. Like oh, you, you remember that? Bring oh, we put the ketchup and the hot sauce on those chicken what? wings. Cut them up, cut them up. Now you taking me back. And those were the good old days. Those it were was the a good great old days. days. Two dollars too. Yeah, we had great days. Our kids wasn't growing up on this fast food and uh, social media. They don't even talk on the phone anymore. No I'm gonna text you. I'm on my way. No, I went to your house. Yelled up at the window, but like, yo, Tracy, Tabika, we out. <laughs> like, we ain't do that. I'm on my way. No, I went to your house because I ain't have that quarter. And I went to your house up the block and I called you through the window. People don't get it. Like, <laughs> my mother, my daughter be like, oh my God, mom, you could I speak the truth. No, nah, I don't. I feel you. I feel you. So you are definitely a vibe. You definitely exactly. are. Exactly. And I wish it was two of me, but it was not. <laughs> <laughs> so, so your Instagram, so your Instagram is fam fabulous always mugs. Yes. Right. Um, yes. Do you have a Facebook page? Yes, but not yet. I didn't set it up. I got it. I'm doing it, but I ain't set it up fully. Okay. So right now you're just really just on IG. Yeah, but it's going to be the same thing as as um fabulous always mugs. It's going to be the same thing. Yeah, I'm going to use the same thing. Everything. Yeah, people need to follow you because you show up at a lot of pop ups. Yeah, pop-ups, you know, just like I said, the cup have a vibe, yeah. you know, so it's, it's crazy. Like, let me give you an example. This lady hit me up. She used to work with me like 10 years ago, like uh -huh. literally 10 years ago. I'm seeing her kids grow up, seeing her kids grow up. So she was like, you know, 
send me five cups. I send her five. But the crazy part, she was confused how I knew each one of her daughter's vibe. One has glasses, one skinny, one has short hair. She was like, well, how did you know they vibe? I said, listen, I watched them grow up and I know people vibes. And she, them girls love them cups. And they was like, how did you know how we grew up? I said, I just know y'all vibe. This is so What cool. goes with them? What this goes so with cool. them? As we start approaching the holiday season, I'm just like, ooh, I should get all my friends one. Yeah, I have um, my friend, Andrea. She's um, 687 Events. Yes. She's buying cups for her friends by how, I guess, how they vibe is, or I'll suggest one to her. I'll be like, how's your friend? What type of vibe she got? And then she'll explain. I'll be like, I think this cup will fit her. And she's That's buying dope. the cups. It's also dope for two, like even people with like bridesmaids and stuff. Yes, yes. I could just make them a cup, give them a vibe. You know, yeah. I even I even made an umbrella. I Did made you? An umbrella. Yeah, I made an umbrella. I made an umbrella. I'm not finished it yet, but as soon as I finish, I'm gonna put it out there. I made an umbrella. I want to. I just come up. Umbrella. I just come up with different ideas. I don't know. I just just come up with different ideas. No, it's so cool. So cool. So and cool. just put it together. It's just I don't know. It's kind of weird. No, you're oh, a creator, yeah. and I'm just happy that you found this and that you're yes. able to explore it because I know it's giving you such joy. Yes, um, that's peace. what it is. It gave me peace. Yeah. That's what it did. Yeah. No, it does that. It does that for us creators. This is, even like when I write or um, I do anything, honestly, these interviews bring me complete joy talking to people. It's a exactly. highlight of my day when I do them <laughs> and Thursdays. I'm that's like, why you, was, that's why you was like, let's do it today. Let's do Not it today. Happening because I can't wait for my next one. It's all the way on Thursday. Like I need to do one a day. Exactly. That's what I do every, every on those Tuesdays and Thursdays because it brings me joy to like meet new people and talk about new stuff. And you have great products too. And I just yes. really, I really, 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 really like your work. Really, thank like you. It. I really it's appreciate like, that. No, and I think I really it's great. That. It's like so cool. It is. It's so cool. I'm so think, excited about it. I'm I so think excited need to like, buy everybody one for Christmas. Yeah, yeah. Just pick it out. I just feel like. And I'm going to say it again. Us as Black women, we go through a lot. And this is something that we need. I'm sitting down, like I said, you have the sister that's just going through it. She put on her turban. She put on her stage. She vibing. Then you have the sister that's like, boop, boop. All right. She's drinking her little wine out the glass. She yeah. good. Then you have the sister that's going through something. Oh, I just want to drink some damn tea. Oh, this cup is fly. It got a vibe. I'm with it. You need that. I don't care what nobody say. During this corona, we went through a lot. Yeah. You need that. If this give me peace and give somebody else peace, let's give everybody peace. I'm serious. Mm -hmm. I'm serious. I gave a little girl, um, Mag B's mom, I gave her a cup for her daughter, and her daughter loves it. Loves it. She calls me, hey, girl, hey. I even could give a little girl a vibe. Come on. Come on. Yo, you're so fly. <laughs> come on come on now i am i am my wheels are turning i'm just like this is so great this is so great come on so we're gonna work together and we're gonna yes. together and we're gonna help you make money and it's gonna be great mm -hmm. thank you listen let's let help you grow because you have a good product you have a good product yeah. you have a um a real uh your energy behind the product is what's important for me because i love yes people. exactly they use good stuff but their energy behind it isn't pure it's kind of like oh all right whatever but your energy is real, and that's what's dope. No, but you have to understand what you like. You have to you have to understand what you love as a person. Mm -hmm. It's just you have to. You have to know what you want to do. Because let me let me explain something to you. When I tell you this, you'll be like, "What?" When I first when I started coming to Papa's, like I said before, I live all the way in New Jersey, so yeah. I have no other choice but to take a cab with the bags, the cups, to make sure they don't get broke. So I'm paying one ten, one twenty. Sometimes I may not make it, but I go because I could be with my daughters and I could meet other sisters. And just even for that day, I gave them a conversation. I'm cool with that. Yeah. Even, even if I didn't make no money, I'm cool with that because I gave you a message. You understand the message that I yeah. was trying to say. Simple yeah. as that. And when you could do that as a person and you could humble your life, it's going to be wonderful. It's going to be great. No, you're right. You're right. So is anything you well, first of all, you dropped so many gems today. I usually ask people, do they have anything they want to leave the audience with? But you left with your whole message. Yeah. This whole time has been so dope. 
So if you had to say like one last thing, what would you say to people? I would say everybody, let's, let's get along. Let's work together. Mm -hmm. Black women, let's do it. I feel like I watch stuff like Madam C.J. Walker when she had all of them together. I watch, this is what I want to see. I want to see those black parties without drama. I want to see us get together and look beautiful without no problems. I want us to get together and learn each other and get each other to make money together. We could do a sister of circles. Like, come on, Jacob Javis Center, Madison Square Garden, Barclay. We can do this. We could be Oprah. We could be Michelle Obama. Why not? Mm-hmm. Agree. And I'm going to be right here. Like, we got it. Exactly. Definitely With definitely. our product, Black owned small businesses. All day long. I'm telling you, keep our money black all day. All day. All right. So, Aisha, thank you so much for your time today. Thank okay, you. I appreciate this interview. I know you have some back end information you're going to get back to me. So, you're going to have your daughter send it to me, right? Yes, yes, yes. All right, yes. wonderful. Yay. All right, so we'll talk soon. Um, I definitely just make sure you're checking my emails. There's a lot of information I put out there. And anybody who's on my mailing list, if you want to get on my mailing list, is email black okay. everything expo at gmail.com. Um, yes. Check me out and contact me via my website, www.blackgirleverythingllc.com. Mm-hmm. Black um, because it's pretty dope. There's a lot of information on there about my events, yes. about black owned, uh, black owned businesses who are actually linked to my website, um, mm-hmm. that sell their products through my website. So, you know, we're all here supporting one another. Yes. All Always. Right. We will talk soon. Thank you. I really appreciate you. Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye.